Every time I come here, Pastor Abraham surprises me with one thing or another. Surprises never cease, do they, Pastor? No. I guess that's part of growing in the nurture and the admonition of the Lord till we come to the full measure and stature of Christ. I have very little to say but what the Lord would speak. Many would say, how do you hear God speak? But I say to my people, how can they not hear me? My people say, can God speak in this manner? But I say, I have spoken. And they did not hear and choose that which is right. My people are puzzled that I should speak in parables. But I say, why should I heal this people that seek their own? God does speak. He speaks in one way, now in another. In a dream, in a vision of the night, when deep sleep falls on men while they slumber in their beds, then He seals their instructions. The world would say this, that seeing is believing. But the Bible actually turns that around and says believing is seeing. When Mary came where Jesus was and saw Him, she fell down at His feet and saying, Lord, if You had been there, my brother would not have died. And Jesus goes on to say, take away the stone. And Martha, his sister, said, By now there's a stench. For he had been dead four days. And Jesus said unto her, and here are the words, Say I not unto thee, that if thou wouldest believe, you should see. So the Bible actually turns around that phrase, seeing is believing and says it's believing that sees. When you read about the heroes of faith in Hebrews 11, of which Abraham's name is mentioned, it says this, it gives a list of names of the heroes of faith. Let's look at these names. Abel, Enoch, Noah, Abraham, Sarah, Isaac, Jacob, Joseph, Moses, Gideon, Barak, Samson, David, Samuel, and the prophets. These are called heroes of faith. But the Scriptures say these all died in faith, not having received the promises, but having seen them far off, were then persuaded. So the first word today I speak is faith. Jesus said, when the Son of Man comes, will He find faith on earth? The Lord speaks this word, reason will replace faith in these days. You have to have the faith that these heroes had, where they never received the promises, but never wavered in their faith. Next, the Lord would speak as follows. When Jesus was resurrected, Paul gives the account of those whom he appeared to. He was seen of Cephas, then the twelve. After that, he was seen by five hundred brethren at once. After that, he was seen of James, then the apostles. Last of all, he was seen by me. That's what Paul says. Now this is what I want to say about this. That during this time, Jesus appeared over the period of 40 days. That's what the Scriptures tell us. These are the days where Jesus is appearing to people, showing Himself alive by many convincing and infallible proofs, saying that His soon return is near. And that's the message for these days. The return of Jesus is soon to appear.
Praise the Lord. So the second word today is the soon return of Jesus. After that, after that tribulation of those days, we will see Him at the seventh trumpet. When the seventh angel sounds, the Lord would speak that in this manner. I have a plan for them that stand. I hear their cry as they shout aloud. My Father above has marked them with love. They walk in shame. They play no games. Their faith is strong as they serve in song. The day I hear the righteous cry, I send from heaven and let them fly. Many would say this. Many would say they don't go through any troubles, tribulation, or trials. But the Lord has prepared trials for each of us that we should walk through. For these are the days of purging, refining, and making white those who are His. These are those days. There's another word for that. It's called the hour of trial. I want to read a portion of Scripture before I say this. In 1 Corinthians it says this, For to one is given by the Spirit the word of wisdom, to another the word of knowledge by the same Spirit. Of all the years of hearing the prophetic, it never came into my understanding that the prophetic word consists of the word of wisdom and the word of knowledge. But yet those are very real aspects of the prophetic word of God. So having said that, I want to read these words of knowledge to you. Listen to these words of knowledge and listen to the pattern that goes through them. Chosen, elect, upward, white robes, dancing and rejoicing, the treasured king eternal, Lamb's book of life being opened, behold my Father's house. Praise God. What a progression. Chosen, elect, upward, white robes, dancing and rejoicing, the treasured King Eternal, Lamb's Book of Life being opened, behold my Father's house. Amen. Now listen to these words of knowledge, this group of words of knowledge here. Listen to this pattern that forms. Outside the camp, holding a lamp, knocking on the door, crying, Lord, I need people in your name. A false witness, open shame, rebuked. What contrast in these words of knowledge? Outside the camp, a lamp, knocking on the door, Lord, I healed people in your name. A false witness, open shame, rebuked by my Father. I want to share a vision that I had. And I share this to explain a point in reading the Word of God. I'm seeing like an area on the ground. And as I move toward it and look close, as I look over the pit, I see the face of a man. As I look intently and closer, 
I see faces of a man as I continue. I see a strange face that I cannot explain, so I call it a beast. And this thing is rising up toward the top. It's ascending upward from this bottomless pit. The only way I can describe what I saw, it's like the little toy you get in a Cracker Jack box where you look at it and as it turns and reflects light, you get a different image at every turn. That's the image I see coming up from the ground, from the bottomless pit. I see the faces of a man, but yet I see a beast ascending upward from the ground, from this bottomless pit. Here I am before them all, judging sin in my Father's house. Open the door, my glory departs. The praises of men bow to the son of sin. It's the favor of man, the stature of man, the golden nugget, the cap of man. Dance and rejoice, here is your God. Here I am to judge them all in the Lord's house. For he says, judgment begins in my house. And this is the season the Lord visits his house. My anger burns, I will not relent. Here comes a woe to destroy them all. The Lord says, the son of perdition is on the scene. And when he steps forward, it will be a sight to behold. The Lord says also, let this man step forward that I may judge this people. We serve a God that loves us, but we serve a just God. And He is perfect in all of His ways, and He judges in perfect justice. And that's the season that the church the body of Christ finds himself in. These are the days of vengeance, of purging and refining from the Lord. And there's no escape from it. The Lord will visit his house. Remove those faces on the wall. from under the altar. And He will overturn these tables once again. And we as believers will be separated from the other. It's not enough just to say you believe because even the demons believe and they tremble. They are more pious and have heard God than most believers do. I would have never believed in my lifetime that I would be alive during this season that the Lord calls the hour of this time times half a time and here we are walking through those seasons the days will fall short the seasons will change it will no longer be you know it Going forward within the next very few months and short days, there will be such, such changes in this nation that you will be able to say the nation it's not coming back. When the Lord speaks of war, and says there will be war, he means 
he will take vengeance upon his enemies. When he speaks of war. The way that God is speaking in these days can only be discerned by the Spirit if you have the Spirit of the Lord. The Lord is choosing the delusions to which He will judge these people. He will catch them by the cords of their own sin and that will hold them tight until He passes by and judges them. That's what the Lord is speaking. Finally, I would say this. God is raising up prophetic voices that appear genuine. Let me say that again. There are voices that seem to be genuine. And they will attract many people. That is so God can judge. Those with a discerning heart. And make a distinction. Between the holy and the profane. And they will know the truth. This is the hour in which we live. But if you were to raise your eyes. And look around you you will get no indication that the Lord is moving in a judging, purging, and refining manner. People think, just like they thought in the days of Noah, where is the promise of His coming? All things continue as they were. But the Lord says not is short that he might judge this people. This is a very um, hard message, unpopular, not very well received, but the Lord is coming back, but he's first coming back to judge his house to cleanse his house, to take his people back. And he is only taking them after they have been purged and made white. Amen. Does God speak like this and speak in a manner? God warns people prophets to speak those warnings time and again. Those warnings go unheeded. God is a just God when He judges. He is perfect. Justice. And He regards no man. Sees. Man looks at the outward appearance, but the Lord looks directly on the heart. And when He looks on your heart, everything will be laid bare and exposed and brought into the light. Pastor Abraham, that's okay. Let me just this. I want to speak some words, prophetic words. As I hear the Lord speak, Holy Spirit, Thou art come in this place. Holy Spirit, Thou art welcome in this place. Omnipotent Father, 
of mercy and grace. Thou welcome in this place. Amen. I'm hearing that beginning October the 1st, forward, that we're going to begin to see the miracles of Moses. The and wonder where we're at in the biblical timeline. When I read the book of Revelations, I see that we are very, very late. Very late. And God is sending out and raising up voices to herald His soon return and it will go across the world. Coming back quickly. Very soon. Will not be ready. Jesus and in the same lines I would like to continue what where man of God left we are living in serious times the word is to the church first as Peter said in his word that judgment will begin first in the house of God let every man set his house in order is the word. There was a word to King Hezekiah, set your house in order. This word is now coming to the body of Christ and every head of the household and every leader set your house in order for I am coming to judge. Only the works that are gold and silver will pass through the fire. Hay and stubble will be burnt up, though the man be saved. Let, let every man take heed that what he builds upon. No other foundation other than Lord Jesus Christ we build upon. Do the work of an evangelist in season and out the, of season. Be instant in season. Preach the word. In the last days, people will turn to itching doctrines. They will be, their ears will be tickled by unsound doctrines, doctrines of demons. A day is coming when people will try to prophesy what they would like to hear. And the Lord wants to raise up God pleasers. No more playing games. It's serious. We are living in very serious times. The Lord says, I'm going to turn over to their hardness like Pharaoh, his heart was hardened to the point there was no return. And then he was drowned in the Red Sea along with his chariots and his horsemen. Take heed, if your heart is still hard, it's time to soften. It's time to soften your heart before God and repent of all the, of your doings. Humble yourself before God and turn yourself from everything that is wicked. The Lord says, repent. The Lord says, repent. Repent. It's time to repent of everything that you have done. The Lord says, if you will repent, I will forgive your sins and I will heal you and I will 
Heal your backsliding. It's time to run to the house of God. It's time to come to God. There is no more time of waiting. The time of waiting is over. We are buying time from the Lord. The Lord is, is, is waiting and is waiting. And he cannot see his house anymore be a house of merchandise. He is going to overthrow the tables of the traders. It's coming. He is overthrowing the table of the traders. The Lord is in serious business. The Lord says, I'm going to speak through little children. They are going to see. They are going to prophesy. And they are going to, they, they are going to do great things. Only if your life is like little children, you will enter into my kingdom. Soften your heart before me. Hallelujah. The Lord is giving an opportunity for radical transformations and radical changes in people's life. It's time to weep. It's time to mourn. It's time to put the sackcloth and cry and ask the Lord, relent from your judgment because it's time past and we are buying in time. It, let every man leave his wicked ways and run to the Lord. There is not much time left. Prepare your heart to meet your God. The one who is hearing my voice. There is not much time left. Coming six to eight months, it's going to be hard. And there is a build up for that. And it's building up very slowly. And you will be taken by surprise. The one who is going to stand is the one who is going to be on his knee praying. It's like a chess board where the king is cornered from all sides until he has no more moves to make. Don't make the wrong moves that lets the enemy to enter into your block. Guard and defend. Defend. The Holy Spirit is speaking that protect. Protect. Be alert. Be on guard. The enemy of your soul is prowling like a roaring lion to whom he may devour. People are thinking eat, marry and keep going on as it was in the days of Noah. But... The Lord says, as the people of that time were taken by surprise, you will also be taken by surprise. But the man of God and the woman of God who is waiting on God will not be taken by surprise. Don't let the door of the ark be shut that you keep banging on the door on that day and the door may not be open for you. Now is the moment. It's down on the earth that there is repentance. Then there may be no more grace for you to repent. The most precious thing that is freely available, you will try to pay anything and you will not find it. So it's time to repent. It's time to come back to Jesus. And I say, Lord, come into my heart. Cleanse me of all my sins. Heal me of all that is wicked in me, Lord. Change me, Lord. Oh, Lord, I bow down before you, kneel before you and ask, Lord, to forgive me. I have lived my life according to my own desires, Lord. But now, Lord, I am running back home. I am like a prodigal who went on his own way. Let you come back to your senses like the prodigal came back to his senses. He said, I will go back to my father's house and will say that, Lord, I 
to be one of the highest servants and they're low and behold the father is waiting jesus is waiting to come and embrace my son that was dead is alive you can be alive you think you are still alive but still dead but the bible says we were dead in trespasses jesus quickened us you can experience life in christ those who are in jesus christ there is no condemnation who shall separate us from the love that is in jesus christ so the death perils things to come present things present angels heights or any other creature shall be not able to separate us from the love which is in our god in our savior lord jesus christ now is the time today is the day of salvation tomorrow is not in your hand somebody is tired of your life and wants to take your life the lord says don't take your life give your life to me because i live you shall also live and don't make that wrong decision don't take your life don't destroy your life because you do not know where you are headed towards and there is no chance of come back grab this moment take this offer of jesus and set your heart and house in order hallelujah if anybody is sick in their body we are going to pray right now father in the name of jesus i am praying for every digestive disorders hallelujah i'm here i'm seeing you're eating certain kind of food and that reacts into your digestive system and it kind of creates inflammation and the holy spirit right now says i'm going to set you right but the lord says there are things in your life that needs to go there are things your heart of all bitterness and unforgiveness for it is time to set your temple in order know ye not you are the temple of the living god in the name of jesus every every joints every pain in the joints i command it now in the name of jesus to be healed any kind of rheumatoid arthritis i command it now to be healed in jesus name any kind of form of addiction be broken now in the name of jesus any kind of sinful habits that have sucked like a leech and has been blood sucking you i command it right now as you confess be free in jesus name hallelujah Hallelujah in the name of Jesus we declare freedom over this city hallelujah we come against the strongholds of the city be broken down as the church worships lord as the voice of your saints rises up in praise the lord bring down the strongholds and bring down the walls that have been raised lord this lord break every hard heart in Jesus name oh we declare Jesus is the Lord of this city. Oh, we break the spirit of poverty in this city. Oh, we say Jesus is the Lord of this city. Oh, we come against family dysfunction be broken in the name of Jesus. Oh, we declare every generational curse that passes on from father to son to grandson be broken now in the name of Jesus. Lord cleanse the blood lines as people receive you Lord bring order in this place oh Lord heal this land oh God heal the desolation of this land oh God oh Lord as gospel is proclaimed oh through this through this microphone oh Lord cleanse the atmosphere oh through the powerful gospel that is able to save and keep us to the utmost everything that stands against us oh lord send your angels and lord 
Lord smite them by the fear of God. Hallelujah. Every weapon that is raised against this altar, Lord, chop down all the false prophets of Baal in Jesus' name. Bring them down, God, and the false voices that rises up against true voices of God. Hallelujah. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord touch you in this place. Oh, Lord, bless this place. Jesus bless this place. Jesus bless this city. As your saints, our feet have touched the city, oh God. Oh Lord, through the touching of our feet, through the treading of our feet, Lord, bring cleansing in this place, oh God. Oh, bring healing in this place, oh God. Bring deliverance in this place, oh God. Oh, bring freedom in this place, oh God. Bring salvation in this place, oh God. Oh, bring prosperity back in this place, oh God. Oh, bring restoration in this place, oh God. Hallelujah. Bring joy back in this place, oh God. Bring love back in this place, oh God. Oh, we, re we speak against the violence in the name of Jesus. Lord, lift up violence from this place. Let there be no violence heard in this city because your people are preaching the word. Lord, shut down everything that promotes violence in the name of Jesus. Put down shutters on everything that brings violence, Lord. Let love come back in this city. Let joy come back in this city. Let families live together. Let houses be built, oh God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Lord, we pray for son of peace in this place. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord, for the brother who has let us do this ministry. Lord, I pray for peace in his life. Lord, continue to prosper him. And Lord, bring his heart more and more closer to you. And use him for your glory, O oh God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Today is the day of salvation. If you have not committed your life to Christ, now is the moment. Anybody hearing us on the cameras, anybody um, hearing on the sound of our voice, now is the time to commit your life. Jesus, Jesus, come into my heart. Forgive me of all my sins. I'm a sinner. Wash me and cleanse me. And make me whole with your precious blood. Come into my heart. And you will be saved. If you confess with your mouth and believe in your heart, you shall be saved. Jesus is the Lord. Father, we thank you for this hour of worship in this place. It's a witness that will speak on the day when we all will stand before God. Lord, the Bible says, Them that feared God spoke, and the Lord heard it attentively. And a book of remembrance was written. On that day, many books will be opened. The book of life will be opened. The one whose name is in the book of life shall enter into that eternal relationship with the Lord, with the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, and the, and the saints, and the angels. But whose name is not in that book shall be thrown into the lake of fire. There will also be a book of remembrance that will be opened for everything that man has done. And Lord, you will be rewarding each one of us, and it will stand as a witness for and against, Lord. Father, with fear and trembling, we stand in this place, Lord. Lord, I pray that, Lord, each one of us will set our house and heart in order. Thank you, Lord. If anybody is suffering with any sickness, especially those in the nursing home, Lord, we stretch our hands towards that building and we speak the healing power of Christ to flow into every room where people are sick, Lord, and bring healing to their body, healing to their mind, healing to their soul. May they know Jesus is the Lord. Lord, bless this city, Lord. Bless the people of this city, Lord. Bless the mayor, bless all the leaders of the city, the business owners, the police, all the medical workers, all the first responders, all the people of this city be blessed. 
May they all know Jesus is the Lord. Send a mighty revival in this city, Lord. A mighty move of the Holy Spirit will come in, come to sweep this city like never ever before. Change this city for your glory. Lord, people will, Lord, kneel down at this altar. And Lord, I am prophesying, Lord, by faith I'm speaking, Lord. They'll kneel down at these altars and give up all their bad habits and addictions, Lord. They're going to be set free in this place. This altar you have chosen, Lord. And this altar that you have promised, Lord, in this place you will raise an altar for your name, O God. Lord, in this place you will raise an altar from where the fire of God will come down on this altar, O God. We know this is holy ground, holy unto the Lord. Bless this place. Continue to prosper this building. Lord, fill this building, Lord. Hallelujah. Lord, I pray for favor, O oh God. We continue to bless each one of us. Lord, as we depart, your protection be upon every one of us. Your angelic protection. Your blood covering upon every family. I rebuke any kind of retaliation from the enemy. Lord, smite and blind the eye of the enemy from any kind of arrows to come against any one of us or our children or our spouse or family in Jesus name Lord the prophetic word that is going to be released on the on the YouTubes many will watch millions will watch and be saved and turn their hearts to Christ bless bless your servant prophet Ed to speak the word thank you lord for his faithfulness to continue to speak the word we give you the praise and the honor lord you are going to honor the small steps the days of small the small days and the days of uh, the beginnings you are not going to despise it's not by might it's not by power but by my spirit says the lord of hosts this uh, mountain shall be moved grace grace and the capstone shall be laid your hands have laid zerubbabel the the foundation of this temple and your hands shall finish it that's the word of god for the work that has been begun, the Lord will finish it. He who began a good work in you shall finish it until the day of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. May we wait and may we continue to receive till that day. So that we none of us will be found wanting. So that when the Son of Man returns, he will find some with faith, O oh God. Let none of us be found wanting in the balance, O oh God. Thank you, God, for the prophetic words released. Lord, not one will fall to the ground and it will be fulfilled in your time. By faith, we believe that. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. We once again bless everyone that has heard the word of God and everyone who listened to the prayers. Bless them, O God. Now unto him who is able to keep us from falling and to present us faultless before his glorious presence with exceeding joy to our God, our Savior, glory and majesty, dominion and power, both now and forevermore. Amen. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord keep you. May the Lord cause his face to shine upon you. May the Lord be gracious to you. May the Lord lift up his countenance and give you his shalom peace forever and ever amen 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 in the name of jesus lord bless the city of wilkinsburg amen amen thank you for hearing the worship we'll be back again next week 4 p.m come and be blessed thank you